Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature in Outlook. So I'm in the homepage of Microsoft 365. I'll go to the nine dots and I'll choose Outlook on the web. This is what we know. And actually what I, the new feature is the possibility to chat from the Outlook to Microsoft Teams. So let's see how we do it. First of all, what, what I did was actually, I went to this uh, idea. And uh, at first, actually, I didn't see anything, but then I, I looked for what's new. And I saw here two interesting things. One was chat from Outlook, and the other one recall sent email. So let's try and click it. So once I click it, I'll be connected to the teams and I'll see all of the chats. Some of them are, for instance, this one is a one to one. And these two are chats of meetings. Uh, I think the meeting needs to start or some text needs to be there. But once it's, it's there, then we can connect and uh, type directly or we can open it in teams. So let's uh, chat with Alex. We see that it's happening, I can add actually another person. I can go to Teams and I will say, uh, hello, how are you today? And uh, let's, I can add, of course, all of the emojis that we have here and I can attach a file. I can set the urgency and I can do also all of these um, old things. So let's just, let, let's just send it. So it sent it. Let's see how the experience is actually in, in the Teams. So what I will do is actually, I will go and click here and do open in Microsoft Teams. So it will open up the Teams and I will see this is exactly what I Outlook. Um, this is opened in the web, but I, of course, I could open it in in the desktop. So let's see. Let's go back and see what we can do else. So this was a one-on-one. -on -one. This is a, a team meeting that had a chat. You see, there's actually it says there's two participants, me and Ligu. Um, don't think I can, ah, I can add another person. Uh, and here we can decide if to include the chat history or not. Um, let's go back and let's say, um, what's new? I'll press enter and click. And um, this is the chat of the meeting. So, Let's see what else we can do here. Actually, uh, I'll click here and um, what I can do is search here by, uh, if I look for Alex, I'll see two, um, this is one-on-one -on -one and this is a meeting with Alex. Um, what else can we do here? You see it filter by name. I could click here and choose the unread, the chats, the meeting or the muted. So unread, I don't have anything because everything was read. Uh, the chats, uh, the meetings. So you can see here uh, separately, you can filter. Uh, what we can also do is to create, initiate a totally new chat. So if I, you see, I click here, I get to it and I'll say, let's talk to um, um, Megan. Here we are, the famous Megan, and I'll say, hello, dear, how are you today? And let's make it uh, with a smiley. And hello again. And let's just uh, make it this way. And I could have color font, let's make it uh, this way and I will send it off and it has been sent. So uh, I showed you we can do it through this uh, 
tips. But actually, we don't need that. Notice we have here an icon over the chat. Once it would open up, actually, it, it was always there for, for Teams. But now it opens up uh, just like we want. And we can go to this chat or we can go uh, to another chat. And notice it opens not instead, but in parallel. So you can have several calls. Wow, that, that's really cool. So look how many. Uh, here we are. Now, if I shut one of them, I can do that. And uh, it's really cool. Now, I'm not sure if, you know, um, but it's, it's a nice uh, feature. We need to see how it will go. And uh, good luck. So see you and try it at home. If you like my channel, subscribe. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.